Uh, welcome to another overheating test in hot Cologne, Germany. And this time around I'm testing mid-range devices. I have three devices here. The Sony Xperia 10 Mark IV, does it overheat like the 1 Mark IV? The Xiaomi 11T and the Honor... No, it's the Huawei Nova 9. Uh, I could have also tested the Honor 50, but I just grabbed the Huawei one in this case. The main question is, uh, am I using my microphone? No, I'm just holding the cable here because um, even if I plug it in, you won't hear anything. So the internal mics are used here on the 10 Mark IV. And uh, yeah, uh, one big advantage of the 10 Mark IV, it can only record in 1080p 60 maximum. I'm recording here the standard 1080p 30 frames per second. So in editing, you don't have like some weird stuff going on. But anyway, this will probably run and run and run and run without any issues. It's a Snapdragon 6, 9, 5 processor here on board the 10 Mark IV. So overheating, I really don't see as an issue with the 695. Um, yeah, we will take a little bit a while to walk and it's a bit warmer now than on my last test. So we have around 37 degrees in the shadow. In the sun, of course, it's a bit warmer. It could go up to 40 degrees even. And uh, yeah, as I'm walking here past or alongside the Rhine, the river, uh, we get some shadow areas where there is uh, some trees giving some shadows and it will be windy as you might hear already and uh, we have of course also some sunlight areas just like this one here where the sun is coming from there uh, hopefully you can see me still and uh, yeah, I can hold it here for a longer time because it's so lightweight this device so no issues with this at all and it's getting kind of loud here some people are working here so let's go a bit quicker here let's see how the situation works on the Sony 1080p this should be no issue for the Sony to stabilize, but we never know. Anyway, yeah, does the 10 Mark IV have any overheating issues that I encountered so far? Nope. So no overheating issues on the 10 Mark IV uh, so far that I encountered, even in this really hot, like, summer sun. Why I could imagine using one day only mid-rangers instead of flagship phones. I like to test flagship phones, definitely, but using it because day-to-day -day usage just think about it, we bought a 500 euro phone and it's reliable, it can be used. You buy over 1000 euro phone, so more than six or 700 uh, euro more expensive and it's not reliable, it can only eat any minute. This would be a big, big issue, wouldn't it be? So I'm really thinking about eventually switching to a mid-range phone as my daily. still have my P50 Pro that I didn't do any uh, overheating tests, but I also never had heating issues even in sunlight. There's sometimes it was screen dimming maybe that was an issue, but I think it was reliable until now, so I'd probably keep it until it breaks apart. But I could imagine like using a second because I have three sims, one for testing and two main sims, one for work and one for uh, private stuff. I could imagine like switching eventually from the Xperia Pro I that I'm using right now that also has sometimes overheating issues in certain situations if you record a little bit longer. So it's not reliable if you have to record, if you know you have to record like a session of longer than 15 minutes, then I always uh, grab my Huawei or Honor phone uh, because the Sony phones, all of them that I used to have, tend to overheat. Now I'm surprised, really I'm surprised because after 4 minutes and 18 seconds the 10 Mark IV gave up. This is even worse than the 1 Mark IV. Has anyone reported about the 10 Mark IV having overheating issues? I don't remember that. And this is recording 1080p 30 frames per second. So this Sony camera app might be even worse or the design, it's like very, very small and plasticky and probably no heat dissipation method in, built in there at all. <sighs> I'm surprised and in a bad way, basically, surprised that it, it's worse than the 1 Mark IV, the 10 Mark IV. Uh, in terms of heat dissipation. So big, big bummer. I would say this Sony phones this year are, yeah, heat problems, overheating issues. Uh, I'm recording now with the Xiaomi 11T. 
This one can record 4K 30 frames per second. This is why I'm using this right here now. And hopefully the microphone is working. It's a bit of windy. Of course, it's always windy when I'm recording. Anyway, uh, let's try and see how long this will record. Has a Dimensity 1200. Like I said, Dimensity in the last couple of years made themselves a name because they have good power, perf uh, power usage per performance and also the heat is not so severe as on the Snapdragon processors, though they are lag be lagging behind a little bit with the ISP still, I would say. So maybe the best would be pairing up a MediaTek processor with your own ISP, like I think Oppo is doing this in the latest, greatest flagship mid-range, no, not flagship, mid-range, upper mid-range phone, the Oppo Reno 8 Pro. Maybe I can get my hand on, hands on this. Oppo, if you're listening, uh, send me a device for testing and I can check this out. They're using the Mari Silicon there. Mari Silicon X, I think, is the image processing uh, core code. It's called, it's actually an MPU, I think, not an ISP per se, but it's working together with the Dimensity um, 8100, which is, I think, slightly better than this 1200 here on the 11T. I don't know sure how long should I record. I think I will record and try to surpass the uh, Honor Magic 4 Ultimate. Was, what was it? 12 minutes and 30? I think when I stopped recording it because I thought that will record and up until to the 15 minute limit. Uh, 15 minute limit anyway. This one here doesn't have any limit. At least I don't see anything on the screen. Actually, it started recording again for some reason from zero. Maybe some file size limit. That's interesting, never saw that before. So it tells me now I'm recording... No, it's counting down actually. It's telling me I have 30 seconds to record still, which is interesting. So I will stop it then, let it stop. Maybe it's overheating, maybe it's also a file size limit of the Xiaomi 11T. But yeah, let it record, let it count down. Maybe it's also like a uh, limit of the internal space. I cannot imagine that, but... So, the Xiaomi 11T is still going strong. I just hit the record button again. For some reason, I was just checking before uh, what it was recording, how long it was recording. Eight minutes it was recording. And then it, there was a countdown, basically. Instead of counting up the minutes, it was counting down for some reason. And I'm not sure if it's doing this again. No, it's counting up. So, is there an eight, lim eight minute limit that I don't know of? Uh, would be new for me, I have to say. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So let it record a little bit longer here and then uh, we see if it just sh shuts down or uh, what's going on there. In a few seconds, let's... yes, it should surpass the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate right now. So it doesn't, it's really, really hot, just like the Honor, uh, the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate was a bit hotter than this. This reminds me more of the Xperia 1 Mark 4 when it is time to overheat and it turns itself off. So pretty much uh, very, very hot. And uh, yeah, maybe it has a better cooling system inside, uh, but it's still going strong. I'll show you something around here still. So we have five minutes now, which, which means uh, we have like 13 minutes now recording time in general. So I think it's a good value. Let's try out the Honor, uh, the, no, the Huawei Nova 9. Recording with the Huawei Nova 9 and not the Honor 50. No, the Huawei Nova 9 has a different chip, a different sensor inside sensor. And uh, yeah, let's see how far we can go with this. 4K 30 frames per second recording here, which uh, should work fine. It has stabilization. I can switch even with 40, 4K 30 frames per second, I can switch between lenses. So I can go to the ultra wide, for example, which we have here now, which is a super cool feature that a big advantage in comparison to the Xiaomi 11T, for example, that doesn't have this feature so simply. And it's utilizing a Snapdragon 778G, the normal version, the vanilla version, there's a plus version as well available. This is one time, which uses an RYYB sensor, 50 megapixels, but I can zoom in even further. I'm not sure what to zoom, zoom in on, but I can zoom in here like six times, but it's only utilizing this uh, 50 megapixel sensor, so it's like 
a little bit of weak when it comes to zoom capabilities. What this one has, what it shows in 4K if you start recording is directly 10 minute limit. So we have a 10 minute limit on the Huawei Nova 9 when it comes to recording 4K 30, which is a bit of a bummer I would say, but still I think it's realistic. If you, it's not like with the Xiaomi where I don't have any limit uh, somewhere written. So it was recording eight minutes and it like stopped recording. I was like, huh? And this might be a special case that cameras will always overheat, but we don't know. So did I talk enough? Eight minutes now. So it beat also the Xiaomi 11T now because it has, 11T has an eight minute limit. We were recording like, uh, what was it? Uh, 13 minutes with the 11T. So longer than the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate, though the Magic 4 Ultimate did not overheat, could go probably until 15 minutes. And here I will try to reach also uh, longer than the 11T. Uh, when I notice that we are reaching the 10 minutes, I will stop. It will stop automatically probably. And then I can hit record again. It's getting pretty warm. And I'm not sure if you heard it, but my last famous last words, I got the overheating. There was a little pop-up that showed me in three seconds I'm closing the camera because it's too hot. It was so dim that I couldn't read it in time. But after I tried to open the camera again, the message appeared again. I'm recording with the 10 Mark IV again, 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second and internal mic, so excuse this. But as all the other phones are either overheating or not responsive anymore, even the Xiaomi 11T now stopped working, tells me it's overheated. I just had it in my pocket running around here. Uh, yeah, this is the 10 Mark IV and uh, yeah, let's see if I can make it like past the, the four minutes something that I had before in the test. Um, I have to say it's from the from all the other phones, mid-range phones that are tested, it's the one that is the lightest, so I'm having no issues holding it here. Um, in comparison to the others where I have to switch uh, arms sometimes or hands sometimes to hold it. But this one, not so much. But I'm not sure about overheating. So is it showing overheating signs so far? Not. The thing is, I can also switch to the ultra wide angle, uh, 10 dB 30. So it has a better feature than the Xiaomi 11T. Though the Xiaomi 11T, of course, uh, only in 4K 30. I think in 1080p 30, it can also do uh, the switch of lenses. Uh, anyway, this is now the ultra wide angle on the. Uh, uh, 10 Mark 4 extreme heat test of course 37 38 degrees Celsius in the Sun even hotter then the devices cannot really cool down and then you have this overheating issues and interestingly enough I think that now with all the mid ranges I think the the flagships did better no? the Huawei P50 pocket did better definitely oh granted it was like two degrees cool cooler than it is now so maybe it would like behave the same but uh, that said, that means like that also the mid-range device also the mid-range devices overheat. 